Hello guys and welcome to today's new video. In today's video I'm going to be restyling this wig right here. I've just steamed her out and I've gotten all the back combing out of it. I used to have it in this style here. I'll pop it up here. I had all the Barbie doll heads in it. In today's video I'm going to be restyling this wig. Um, I'm going to be going through a few different techniques and like how to do finger waves. Um, I'm going to be putting these stuffers into the wig as well because I'm going to be doing two different buns here and they're going to be completely wrapped in the hair so you won't see any of these. But I'm kind of taking inspiration kind of from the Lady Gaga 911 video where she has the mint hair that's kind of up like this. So I'm also taking inspiration from wigs by Golgi I think it is but I'll pop their Instagram up here and I'll put a link down to it in the bio They do lots of really sleek really nice styles lots of finger waves Everything's very neat everything's very together So in today's video I'm pretty much going to be showing you how you can use stuffing This is just batting that you can buy in like any craft shop or any um, fabric shop so I'll be using these, I'll be, doing, I'll be doing finger waves on the front and lying on the buns as well. I'll pop a reference image up here as well, kind of for basically what I'm going for. But it will be kind of trial and error, it's my first time trying to do a style like this. So it's going to be kind of a case of seeing how it turns out. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and section the wig. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take a 2 inch section from the whole lace and lay it forward so later when I want to do the finger waves over the buns that I will have the hair there and if I need to smooth over anything I can use this hair here that hasn't been teased, it hasn't been touched just to cover up any messiness or anything that might happen through the styling process. So first of all what I do is I'll just get a brush and go right up the middle to here and then I'll take two inches back from the lace the whole way down, down to where the ear would be. I tried to do this video last week or two weeks ago. Hello guys and welcome to today's new video and it just would not work out for me. For the life of me, I was just getting way too stressed out about absolutely nothing. I'm not gonna brush that out, I'm gonna work with that, but it didn't work out, so here I am picking it up two weeks later. But enjoy this little clip here of me getting frustrated at the wig and having to walk away from it. Oh my God. So at the front, you should have a two inch section from the lace back just to cover over everything now in a while. So what you want to do next is you want to make a center parting and split the hair in both directions. So the best way to find your positioning for a center parting is if you get the brush to the nose, run up the nose, go back, you'll find where your center point is. So you only want to take this center parting back to where the curve of the head will be. So if you put the brush like this, where it starts to go downwards is where you want to bring your parting to. So again, once I have my parting made, I'm just going to run through with the comb and get out any excess knots. It's easier to use a white, a white tooth comb for this just because it doesn't tug on the hair so much. So when you are trying to detangle it, it's not going to pull any of the hair out of the tracks. So always make sure your knots are gone at the bottom and you can work your way up then. So once you have that section done, do the same thing again. You can just grab a pin, put it around the hair, and then you can put it into the styrofoam head like so. And now we're gonna do the exact same on the other side. So you want the hair to still fall like this, but you want from where you do your parting, wherever the end of the line is, follow down diagonally, and then you have a triangular section like so. So it's going like that, like that, and across. So once you have this section done, again, what you're going to do is you're just going to pick up a pin. Once you get the pin, just put it around the hair like so, and just put that then into the styrofoam head. It just keeps all your sections separate and it keeps everything nice and clean if you keep bringing it forward towards the front. Now this section back here, we're, literally, we're going to leave this like this. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go through it with the comb and just make sure that it's nice and smooth and that there's no knots. Because we're going to be leaving the back of it straight but we might do a little bit of teasing up here in a while just to put a bit of volume into it. 
So I pretty much just started by getting one side of it in just to see what techniques I was going to use and then I'm going to go ahead and do the other side on camera for yourselves. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this section back out, let's get rid of the clip for now and then I'm just going to brush out the section again just to make sure that there's no knots. What you want to do then is up by where the parting is you want to take a straight section that's about an inch thick and just try to get the section as straight as you possibly can. So for now you can just throw that over there on the other side. Then what you want to do is at the front you want to do the exact same thing. So you want to take a section that's about an inch thick. Then at the back you want to do the same thing. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to get my ball of batting. So just like on this side we want to position it so it's even on the other side. So I'm just going to lift this section up for a minute and see that it's positioned somewhere around here. So I'm going to get it pinned in there just to get it nice and secure. So what you should do is just kind of position a pin all the way around and then on about four main points you should cross the pins over in an X. Perfect, so once you have that pinned in I'd suggest doing the pins in a cross here, here, here and on the inside here as well just to make sure it is secure and that it is going to hold together. So what I do next is I just grab some hairspray and I get a comb as well. And what you want to do is you want to pick up the section that you're after putting here into the middle and any of the flyaway hairs with it. Just give it a brush through so there's no knots. It'll make it easier when you're trying to smooth it out. So get the hairspray and give the ball a spray just so it gets a bit sticky. And then spray the inside of the hair as well. And give it a brush through to catch any flyaways. Then what you want to do is you want to start slowly bringing it around the ball here. And just spraying it then to smooth it out as you're going. So what you're then going to do is with each section following around clockwise, you're going to follow the sections over what you've just done until you have the whole thing covered up and then we'll go back in with these sections here at the front afterwards and we'll just clean everything up and we'll smooth everything out. So try and make it as smooth as you possibly can while you're going around it, but it doesn't need to be the neatest because you do have more hair at the back and you have more hair at the front to smooth over it then afterwards. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this front section here and we're going to work it back into this but once we get it back up and around like this we want to leave the rest hang so we can put a finger wave into it. So just taking this first section here, just a very thin layer and actually just taking it from both sides and dragging it back through the middle just to cover over any tracks that might be showing from separating it either way. And you can just leave that back there for now. And at the front you can just get some hairspray, give it a little spray and just smooth it in. Then what you'll want to do is just grab the side section, so only the hair that's on the lace. You don't want to take any from the back or anything like that. And just brush it up and out from the head. So 
right thing's best to do is once you have the hair around, get it up here and just get a clip into it. And with the PC you have here at the front, just work on smoothing it and keeping it held back. And once you have it the way you want it then, just give it a quick spray. What I'm going to do now is just get a wire mesh roller and place it down here just and pin it in just to make an indent in the hair for where it goes up to the bump. So once you have this secured you can start moving around. Just catching any of the flyaway hairs and dragging them up in the direction that you're laying the hair. So once you've that done you can go back to working with the rest of this section up here. So you can start by removing the clip and all of the rest of the hair that you pushed back with the comb, just grab that and work it into the rest. So just getting that clip again, I'm just going to go ahead and clip this down right here and just using the hair here to hide any of the tracks. So I've just gone ahead and finished off the other side. So as you can see what I'm doing is I'm taking this section here, I'm bringing it back up and bringing it around. And with the ends of it then, I'm just gonna bring it back down in a wave back onto the lace at the front. I find when I do it like this, this is the easiest way to kind of keep the ends neat is to get them into a finger wave style. But it also just looks nice as well. So I was like, why not? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replicate what I've done on this side over here. So just like on the other side, what I'm first going to do is swoop it outwards and then I'm going to swoop it inwards and place wire mesh rollers in place just to actually hold it down. Holding the hair with my finger, I'm just going to drag the rest of it back in towards the head. So the camera just cut out a second ago, but pretty much I just carried on from what I said last. That I just sprayed it with the two brushes and then I put the wire mesh roller in to hold it. And I just added a few of these pins in here to give a bit more lift off of the wig as well just so it has a bit more of a swooping effect. So what you want to do now is you want to get your hairspray and you just want to set that into the place where it is. Like so. And then we're going to continue on to swoop it back and wave it down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a pin and I'm just going to place it into the wig right here just to hold this wave in place. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some spray mousse and just spray it on the ends of the hair here and just brush it through just so it's a little bit wet but not saturated just so it keeps all the hair nice and sleek and together. So here is the finished result for the wig. As you can see I put the buns in so I put the stuffing in, I showed how to cover them up and I did a bit of finger waving as well. The back of the wig I just left straight because I wanted it to have a little bit more movement since everything is so solid and stiff up here. So this is the finished result anyway. Here is it from the back and here is it from the front. If you do recreate anything that you've seen in this video, I would love to see it. So if you post it on Instagram, please do tag me or even send it forward to me in a DM. If there's anything that you do want to see, leave a comment down in the comment section down below or you can send me a message at Robin Hearts on Instagram. It'll be linked down in the description box down below anyway. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share if you want and hit that notification bell down below so you get up updated every time that I upload new videos. So when I do wigs, when I do makeup or when I make clothes, you'll get a notification and you'll be able to see. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.